You should find you didn't really try. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you're one of those filthy fun avers, Lewis. I see. One of those. Uh, those erroneous entertainment seekers. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. As long as you had fun playing, that's what matters, right? Looks like we see the Sheik Ditto. Uh, I, I think they both agree to no chain grabs. You ready to do your brother when he's going to drive? Oh, okay. Oh, so you're an older brother. I didn't know that. Once again, I just, I just didn't know that does had a brother. That's pretty cool. It's cool that you're also watching the stream uh, to watch him play. That's, that's, that's really dope. Oh. Oh my god. The sniff. Wow. I'm very hungry. You're set for the, for the rest of the I was feeling night. faint. Oh no. So no chain grabs. Uh, Ishra playing the, the Shrek sh Sheik, the green Sheik. Oh, kind of an early death for, for Deans there actually. That needle really clinched the edge guard. But these two, the sets between these two have been really interesting where, like I said, it really ends up being about uh, Ishra just finding more and more situations. I've played HT in this matchup quite a bit, and it is um, discouraging, to say the least. <laughs> his punch game is just so strong. He doesn't drop his, um, you know, chain grab conversions, etc., yeah. and grab conversions in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's really important that you don't drop this. Yeah. Right. Like you, you can already see this kind of the differential. If teams, you know, like. Uh, started grinding more 20xx or uncle punch like combo training, right? Uh, we might yeah. see some like a, a, a bigger difference in his play because at this point, like uh, I think he's proven that at the very least he can compete with uh, in, in neutral against uh, at the very least H Twa and, and Dusk. Uh, but often he loses out on like getting the conversion or getting the edge guards that he needs. Right. Yeah, H's punish game in this matchup is just so strong. Oh, right. finds his finally finds his first kill. But you can see, right? He's put he put Deems keeps putting himself in actually pretty strong positions, and he's able to do you know certain things well in neutral. It's just every hit gets taken way further by H2. Still here, right? I tried to move the mic away. As you chew into the microphone. <laughs> Alright, both of them going Fox and FT. Very interesting choice. Uh, I don't do know that there is a Deems Fox. So I guess this is a Georgia thing. Check the bag. Check the bag. I see. Bag went home, I thought. Deems is P1, in case you're wondering, he's P1 Fox. Clean edge guard by H H12. And both these players essentially they want to do the same thing in this matchup on this stage, right? Get the grab, get the chain grab, keep it simple. Or El or El Rey again. El Rey is fine too if you guys want that. El Rey is fine too if you guys want that. But yeah, this is a. Uh, it's interesting that like, especially since the, the intent for both players is really clear, the executional difference. You know, once again, not that Deem does any slouch in execution whatsoever. It's just that you know Ashi is kind of spe specialized in execution. Um, 
it's not as big of a deal. Oh wait, oh. He's hitting that clean les dash. I'm, in, I'm intrigued. And getting off stage. Most of the delayed shine. Nothing to like. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. That's okay. Sorry. Keep playing that. Eight drop holes ahead there of the address situation. With this chewing. Loud chewing ensues. ASMR stream. Melee ASMR. Not involved in the, the buttons. It's really hard to commentate about eating. I thought it would be easier. Oh no, it's impossible. Yeah. Okay, I just keep on doing it. So that, that kind of went about as expected actually. H plus um, slightly cleaner on the punishes, although uh, Deems Neutral was totally fine, right? So I wonder if the. Alright, yeah. Going to a different stage. Looks like Astral is staying Fox. I'm assuming Astral wants to have the Fox ready for the Cobalt set. Oh. So we'll see if Deems is a solid neutral. Small stage. Should be interesting. So he needs to be able to get these kills. Goes for the uh, the Griffin, the face roll. Oh, the clean that lets us off smash. All the gallant needed. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's all kind of the slightly incorrect reaction. You can see Dean's now giving HLS Let's Dash much more respect. Oh, missed the wall jump. That's the second time he missed the wall jump uh, in a tournament set where it cost him the stock, today at least. It's kind of unfortunate for him. He's actually really kind of slowing the pace down uh, when he needs to. Going for extended ledge stalls, things like that. Trying to pressure with ledge dash. Sounds attack there from, from Deems. Escapes a combo actually. Gets a potential follow up as well. That's pretty good. Oh, lands on Reno. That's not easy with Sheik. That's pretty difficult. Okay. As far as you can go for the early down smash, I feel like that's a decently strong position to go for. Oh no. This has been a really cautious game from both players, it feels like. Right? Both players really want to play towards the precision aspect of the game. For, in different way, in, the, in their own different ways, though. Like, Deems wants to space really precisely. Uh, and HT wants to... Uh, I'm not that HT's not spacing precisely, but... But HT wants to uh, execute the thing that she wants to do really precisely as well. It, it's been interesting. You can really tell what what things uh, which players like primarily focused on. Which is cool. Shoot players playing Fox. That's a classic, actually. It is a classic. This one's Kirby's Fox. Kirby Fox. Kirby King. Like every shoot plays Fox out there. It's a uh, actually the, the pocket fox is the thing, right? Yeah. Because uh, way but back in like t uh, 2005, 2004, Ken had a pocket fox for certain for sheiks. Smart. Sammy. Literally every sheik, maybe except for Swedish. Swedish has a uh, has a pocket Luigi, peach. a pocket peach, pocket Luigi, and a Falco. Oh, he has a Falco. Yeah. Oh, let's go, Deems. Deems takes the game from the cop, uh, from the fox. Deems on the board, at least. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, two hands this time. Yeah. Oh, some very solid conversions. 
It looks like Ishval is going back to the Sheik just to ensure that he gets to you know, the grand finals. Okay, I'm less hungry now and more willing to talk. <laughs> Uh, definitely more solid for HK. Like you said, being probably maybe the most experienced against H HG in the uh, in the Shiki though. Know, this is looking pretty much about as you described, right? Yeah, HG just doesn't drop conversions in this matchup. He's really, I think he's really kind of like a top player, and his his, his top playerness really comes out in his punish game. Right. And since this matchup is so punish heavy and. The punish game is so brutal. Like it really lets his like strengths come out. Yeah, yeah for sure. I just really like how different these two players are, honestly. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, tr tricked, bamboozled. Uh, kind of falling away from Deems, there's not a ton he can, like, given the fact that, you know, once again, Deems' priority is not his punish game necessarily. Yeah, every single time h lands a hit, gets a win in neutral, there's a chance that Deems uh, might die. Right. So making that, making nobody against that in this kind of situation is pretty tough. Oh. You know, if, if Deems just focuses in neutral, h is also already better than him at, at neutral. Right. It's hard. Yeah, it was just like that. I think he was going for a soft bear there. It was just a little overly ambitious. Yeah, yeah. But he does need to make something big happen at this point, so I don't blame him. You gotta make plays when you're buying to some, some extent. <clears throat> I was gonna like how uh, some of the. Ishii's Fox habits are trying to bleed over into the Sheik. Right? She's starting to go for more dash dancing with Sheik, which is not always good. It makes a lot more sense with Fox. Right. right. It makes sense. Right. <laughs> 